Hello friends, welcome to To The Point. In today's session, let's discuss about the age of Satavahanas. So let's discuss about the political history of Satavahanas. The important native successors of the Mauryas in Deccan and in central India were Satavahanas. So the Satavahanas, they are identical with Andras. This Andras, they are mentioned in Puranas. The Puranas speak only about Andras rule and it does not speak anything about Satavahana rule. The earliest inscription of the Satavahanas belonged to 1st century BC when they defeated the Kanvas and established their power in parts of Central Asia. The early Satavahana king appeared in Maharashtra where most of their early inscriptions have been found. The Satavahanas extended their power over Karnataka and Andhra and their greatest competitor were Sakas who established their power in the Upper Deccan and Western India. The fortunes of the family it were restored by Gautami Putra Shatakarni. So Gautami Putra Shatakarni he called himself the only Brahmana who defeated the Sakas and destroyed many Kshatriya rulers. So Gautami Putra Shatakarni he occupied Malva and Katyavar. So which lay under the control of Sakas. The coins and inscriptions of his immediate successor Vashishtiputra Pulmai it is found in Andhra. So Vashishtiputra Pulmai he set up his capital at Paitan or which is also known as Pratistan on the Godavari in Aurangabad district. So Rudradaman I who was a Saka ruler of Saurashtra he defeated the Satavahanas twice but he did not destroy them on account of the matrimonial relations he, wa he had with them. Agneshri Shatakarni, he was one of the later kings who recovered North Konkan and Malva from the Saka rulers. He was a great lover of trade and navigation. His coins have been found in Andhra, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. His love for navigation and overseas trade, it is shown by the representation of a ship in his coins. Aspects of material culture. So, hose were found which were fully and properly socketed. So, besides socketed hose, sickles, spades, plowshares, axes, razors and so on. These are the things that belong to Shatavahana layers. Tanked and socketed arrowheads as well as daggers have also been discovered. At a site in Karimnagar district, even a blacksmith shop has been discovered. The evidence of ancient gold workings has been found in Kolar fields in the early Christian centuries. The Satavahanas, they may have used gold as bullion. For they did not use gold coins as the Kushanas did. They used mostly coins of lead and those were found in Deccan. They also issued potent copper and bronze money. Both the Shatavahanas and Ishwakus they seem to have exploited the mineral resources from the Deccan. The people of Deccan they knew the art of paddy transplantation. And during the first two centuries, the area between Krishna and Godavari, especially at the mouths of these two rivers, they formed a great rice bowl. The people of Deccan, it also produced cotton. And Andhra is considered to be famous for its cotton products. According to Pliny. The Andhra Kingdom, it maintained an 1 lakh infantry, 2000 cavalry and 1000 elephants. So Pliny informs us that Andhra country in the eastern Deccan, it included 30 walled 
towns beside having numerous villages social organization the shatavahanas originally seemed to have been a tribe of deccan but they were brahmanized and their most famous king gautami putra shatakarni he claims to have established the fourfold varna system which had fallen into disorder he boasts that he put an end to the intermixture between the people of different social orders and such a confusion it was obviously caused by saka infiltration and by thin and superficial brahmanization of the tribes living in the deccan the absorption of the sakas in the hindu society as kshatriyas it was facilitated by intermarriages between sakas and satavahanas so according to dharma shastras it was a function of kshatriyas to rule but satavahana rulers they called themselves brahmanas gautami putra he boasts that he was the true brahmana and the andras are identified with early satavahanas who were converted to brahmanism so both artisans and merchants they made a generous donations to buddhist camp they set up small memorial tablets among the artisans gadikas or who is also called as perfumers they are repeatedly mentioned as donors gadikas are called as donors and aryan society in north india father enjoyed a greater importance than mother and princes whom he have considered so far seem to have belonged to a patriarchal society but when it comes to satavahanas they show the traces of a matrilineal social structure and it was customary for their king to be named after his mother for example gautami putra and vashishta putra it indicates that in their society mother enjoyed a great deal of importance patron of administration the shatavahanas they kept some of the administrative units found in ashokan times the district was called as ahara and this ahara it was known in the time of ashoka also their officials were known as amatyas and mahamatras and this were known uh, during mauryan times it is significant that a senapati was appointed by provincial governor the administration in the rural areas it was placed in the hands of gaulmika who is said to be the head of a military regiment consisting of nine chariots nine elephants 25 horses and 45 foot soldiers the satavahana kingdom it had three grades of feudatories the highest grade it was formed by king who is called as raja and who had the right to strike coins and the second grade it was formed by mahaboja and the third grade it was formed by senapati and it seems that this feudatories and landed beneficiaries they enjoyed some authority in their respective localities religion the satavahana rulers they claim to to have been brahmanas and from very beginning the kings and queens they formed vedic sacrifices such as ashwamedha vajapeya and so on so this people they also worshiped a large numbers of vaishnava gods like krishna vasudeva and others so they paid a liberal sacrificial fees to brahmanas so in their kingdom the mahayana form of buddhism it commanded considerable following especially in artisan class nagarjuna konda 
and Amaravati in Andhra Pradesh it became important seats of Buddhist culture under the Satavahanas. Architecture In the Satavahana phase many temples and monasteries were cut out of solid rock. In the northwestern Deccan or we can call it as in the part of Maharashtra. The two common structures were the temple which was called Chaitya and the monastery which was called as Vihara. The Chaitya it was a large hall with a number of columns and the Vihara it consisted of a central hall entered by a doorway from a veranda in the front. The most famous Chaitya is that of Karle in Western Deccan and this Karle it is about 40 meters long, 15 meters wide and 15 meters high. It is a most impressive specimen of massive rock architecture. The Amaravati Stupa, it is full of sculptures which depict the various scenes from the life of Buddha. Nagarjuna Kunda, he prospered most under the Ishvakas, the successor of Satavahanas. And this Amaravati Stupas, it not only contains Buddhist monuments, but it also contains the earliest Brahminical brick temples. Language the official language of the Satavahanas was Prakrit. All inscriptions were composed in this language and written in Brahmi script. One Prakrit text called Gata Saptasati, it is attributed to a Satavahana king called Hala and it consisted of about 700 verses and this all were written in Prakrit language. In the next session, let's discuss about the dawn of history in the deep south. Thank you.